In this section, I'm going to show you how to remove both hum and buzz from audio files. And let's start with hum. Now, humming typically occurs where the ground is coming from two different sources simultaneously. And that's exactly what happened on this particular live recording of a bass guitar track. Somewhere in the audio chain, two grounds were making a connection inside of the audio cables, and it induced a ground hum, or an AC hum. And you can really see that hum down here in the spectrogram view. See all those long horizontal lines? Those are both the fundamental frequency of the hum itself and the associated harmonics above the fundamental frequency. Now, the fundamental frequency will change depending on what country you're in. Since I'm in the United States of America, the AC frequency in my country is 60 hertz. But if you're in another country that uses 50 hertz, then it's going to change how you program the dehum module. But what I'm going to do now is mark a region right here at the beginning of the file, and I'll show you why in just a moment. Since I have a nice section of dead air right here, I've got that selected so that I can determine what the frequency actually is. Then I'm going to come over here to the dehum module and I'm going to call up the default preset again. And what I'm going to do now is have it tell me exactly what the frequency is. So if I hit the learn button right here, you can see that the bass frequency snapped to 60 hertz. If I set that to free, then I could adjust the frequency right here. But since this was a file that was recorded digitally, chances are it's going to be 60.00 hertz. So if I hit the learn button again, it's going to snap that bass frequency right back to 60 hertz. So I know that that is the frequency that I want to remove. But instead of using the default preset, let's go to the 60 hertz reduce with harmonics because this particular hum does have those harmonic frequencies. And if we look here in the graph, we can see that the fundamental frequency is at 60 hertz, and then there are six harmonics that go up with varying degrees of intensity. If we wanted to increase the number of harmonics, we could come here and add as many as eight. And then we can adjust the slope of those harmonics to determine how big of a cut we're going to take out of the harmonic frequencies. So if I drag that slope down, you see it's making a bigger cut on those frequencies. So I'm going to set that back at the default of 0.4, and then let's hit the preview button and see if that removes enough of the hum. Oh yeah, that does a great job. But before I process the file, I'm going to hit Controller Command D to deselect that selection that I made at the beginning of the audio file because I want to process this entire audio file. So now that I don't have a selection on that audio file, I can come over here and click the process button. And when we look at the spectrogram, see how it just really removed all those long horizontal humming frequencies. So let's close the dehum module and let's listen to the before and the after. Here's the original recording with the hum. And let's listen to the dehummed version at the very, very beginning. Now I'm just going to switch back and forth between the before and the after while you listen. See, even though the bass is playing, in the original version, you can still hear that humming, and it gets even more noticeable when the bass player starts to play lightly and a little bit more dynamically right about here. So let's listen to the same thing before and after from this section of the audio file. So the dehum module does a masterful job of getting rid of those ground loop hums. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get rid of buzzing in audio files.